Hello there everyone and welcome back to my channel. This time we're gonna react to one of Chill's videos. It's 11 scary videos filmed in basements and uh, I'm pretty scared of basements myself uh, and if you are afraid of basements just subscribe to my channel and click the like button and uh, comment down below what more afraids you then we're gonna maybe do a video about that but hey let's start do this scary video filmed in basements and see how scared we are number 11 after spending a day at the pool with some friends the pool is nice austin grash decides to explore his girlfriend's creepy basement for fun they okay. discover her basement area has many secret areas it's not um a fun to explore a basement but uh, hey you do what you do best gone untouched for quite some time i know hey, look to the right and there's a whole door over there listen that's not concrete. That's hollow. A series of yeah. hidden passageways leads them deeper and deeper underground until they come across a final creepy red door. At this point, they can't shake the Does feeling she have a that red someone door has definitely in her... been down here before. Perhaps even very recently, yeah. just when they're talking about what could have possibly taken place down here, they I see a bad no sign. Idea. I want to know why there's chains right there. Where? Chains. I don't know why there's chains everywhere. If these chains weren't used to shackle somebody in place, then please tell me what they could have been for instead. Because honestly, that's the only explanation I have. I have no explanation. Eventually, one of them bravely kicks open the mysterious red door to reveal why? an empty room. There is a cellar door that none of them can pry open. So they give up and head back to the surface. Yeah, that's exactly probably best. what is in there is anyone's guess. For all we know, maybe somebody below ground was holding on to the other side. Number 10. YouTuber David DeFranco dramatically descends the stairs into his dingy cement brick base. Uh, you can see uh, that's a terrible... Terrific uh, or scary basement, but it's uh, colorful uh, paintings on the wall. Yeah, that's that scary, I guess. Mint saying, after four years of wondering what's in that room, it's time with a cat as cat. a bodyguard. David, <laughs> you could, you know, it's a good thing if you have a cat as a bodyguard. <laughs> then you're safe. Notes that it's 10.49 p.m. Not sure why you choose to explore a hidden room at night, I, but David's got I have no idea. It. He knows that he's always wondered what's in this hidden room, and that is cat. Uh, if you're curious about what is in that hidden room, why don't you do it in the middle of the uh, day with a couple of friends instead? More logical. Has explored it several times and seen some serious stuff. So David is curious and nervous. And you let the cat go in first. You let the bodyguard go in first. Yeah, good. It's probably nothing, but you can't help but wonder, he says, using his night vision camera. He moves the piece of plywood, blocking the hole in the wall out of the way, and he enters. He calls the place creepy before asking hello to no one in particular. It looks like another crawl space, yeah. but there are some intriguing bits and pieces inside. An old bottle, newspaper, dripping pipes, small plastic containers, and a cat from the Philadelphia Inquirer date back to April 1st, 2001. Ooh. So someone has been down in the crawl space not too long ago. David recalls hearing noises coming from the crawl space. While David didn't discover anything epic beneath his home, he did at least explore it before moving out number nine there seems to be many surprises for new renters or homeowners in these clips youtuber dempsey seven also recently moved into this apartment he okay. said he rented the place without viewing it because it looked That's nice not good. and the rent was low but when he got okay, there fine. he realized why it was so cheap there are really high ceilings like a 19th century monastery in the nice. middle of england he said he then takes viewers on a tour through the apartment there are mirrors all over all of oh. this is nothing compared to what he found just outside the bathroom carved into the floorboards you can clearly oh. see a hatch in the floor kitted out with a handle dempsey 7 what? says he figured it was a bit of underground storage 
He lifts the lid up, and it does appear to be a storage space. That is, until you look beyond the surface and see that the space expands oh. below pretty deeply. It's a basement in the apartment. Dempsey 7 guides viewers down stone stairs that lead I into what he calls apartment. a dungeon. There is a corridor heading off ahead. Lots of stones and discarded brick and wiring. There is a room to the right, directly below Dempsey 7's apartment. On the wall is graffiti that reads, CCFC OK, judging from the flooring. Dempsey 7 believes it used to be a burial ground. He heads down the corridor. Most of the dungeon is piled with rubbish, dirt, and old brick. He <laughs> finds a newspaper dating back to 1984. He finds what looks like an old front door. Did someone used to live here? Or perhaps Maybe. the house was built over an older existing foundation. Mm, Whatever Maybe. the case, a dungeon is one secret room I wouldn't want to find in my new home. Nope. Number 8. Something over here. Where? Moving around. Yeah, it's you. This was the moment when a YouTuber named Mixed Breed Entertainment gasped in surprise. It's you moving around. Hello? Huh? That's this. And turned around what? because he thinks that he felt the presence of a ghost so near. That's, That's not enough evidence to prove this basement is haunted. Nope. But what happens next certainly is. Hey, try something real quick. Try what? Is there anyone here? No. What the f this <laughs> stuffed animal falls over when a ghost is asked to. No, the stuffed animal fall down because it was tired and need to sleep move an object did the teddy bear just move? nope what the f is that then a ghost orb is caught on camera seemingly coming out of the toy Yoo! itself it just got really f you what the f That stuff okay, that so had a bear like fall, move around. A particle of dust could fly over it, I suppose. But when the same thing happens a second time, coincidences go out the window. Paranormal is what I think this is. Nope. Can you move it again? Uh huh. Okay. Oh. He asked. Sure enough, there's another orb when this happens. Nice. Number seven. Paranormal Lone Star thinks they've spotted some strange activity while exploring the basement of the old Stanford Inn in Stanford, Texas. Down here is where an entity named Ernest is said to haunt. First, we okay. find his saw. His saw? That's the rest. That's the rest on that. Then they find Ernest, or so it seems. Huh? I didn't saw anything the in there. The saw is no doubt real because there is still a nail where it used to hang on the wall. But as uh -huh. for Ernest, the ghost sighting, I'm not so sure. You I can don't hear see the anything. paranormal investigators in the room, so it wasn't them. But it could have been a third person dressed in black pretending to be a real ghost caught on camera. I didn't see anything in that. Number six. Okay, I didn't see anything, so. And there is literally sounds coming in my basement right now, and it's freaking me out. Kids are upstairs asleep. How do you know uh, that? I'm gonna go down and check right now. This is this is freaky right now because I really go in my basement. It's an unfinished basement. A YouTuber named an everyday Canadian has been afraid of his basement ever since he recorded basement an so incident scary. that he cannot explain. Is that sound? Fear it's a bang. grips his throat, but he knows what he must do. He'll never know what's causing the scary noises if his only reaction is to stand in the doorway. It's all he you knows need to he will be going down the stairs into the basement where a scary thing is waiting to be found. Nope. You I don't, don't even want to go down there. Don't do it. Dark. Hold on, guys. Let me just get my light on here. Yeah, quick. that's good. This is freaking me out. 
He thought the only thing scarier than going down there would be not knowing what it was. He was wrong. I hate basements. Yeah, me too. I really hate them. My laundry machine just stopped. It's just me in the basement. Ooh. What the f was that? Really so what the f Woo! Sometimes the source of a weird noise in your house is okay. scarier than you can imagine. Sometimes going down in your basement results in the quality of the video is not that good, so I didn't see it so much. But from your camera and from your mind, I just saw something and sometimes moving. it's a toy on a string. Yeah, that can be number it. five. A YouTuber named Tommy Case is in the basement of an abandoned house when his flashlight crosses over someone wearing an all black and white strip. Yeah, I saw something. Stretched out face mask. Tommy Case runs away, but soon he has to turn his flashlight back on if he ever hopes to find the exit. Hello. Instead, he finds the same person again, but this time he manages to escape without looking back. Since okay, the person just good. stands there and never reaches out for him, Hello. I think this is almost definitely a skit, but a well done one all the same. Hello. Number four. Number four. What's this? Is for? someone down there? No. Nope. I'm literally shaking right now. I am on my own right now. Me Hello. too. They open the door. A YouTuber named Andrew Duffy has a paranormal problem in his basement that literally leaves him shaking with fear. Me too. Is there someone in here? No. Let your presence know. Hello. Do something now. That's something. That is something. He shakes throughout the entire Hi. 10 minutes and 43 seconds of this video without a break, which would take some talent to fake. Here's a good example. I'm gonna set. What? Number three. Okay, that was a quick example. Basements are built to house all the evils of the world. This basement is no exception. Published by it's YouTuber not. Mr. Vujade in February of 2012, this frightening basement monster will scare the living daylights out of you. No. The short clips these are. I am not afraid of no monster. Protagonist heading downstairs into a creepy dark basement. As he slowly searches the space, it appears ah. empty. Apart from a few piles of storage items, some ah, bicycles, cares? the usual suspects in a basement. But then suddenly he turns, which is when he is conf- He turns, something gonna jump scare him, but I am not afraid. Fronted by this, ah. I'm never going down there again, the YouTuber writes. Who can blame him? What's that? I don't think I could ever work up the courage to explore that basement. What is that? Number two. Okay, we will never know. Scary scratching from within the basement should alarm anyone. Some would call for help while others would grab their phone. Not yeah. for help, but to make sure whatever's down there is caught on camera. That's what two roommates do after one hears noises in a hidden crawl space of their home. It could have been anything though. Nah, I heard. I was scared, man. I heard noises. Yeah, oh, noises is scary. Move this way. Noises can kill, kill you. It could have been rats or whatever. What about yes. if we got a whole bunch of rats? Yeah. The one who hasn't heard no. the noises is brave. The one who has is scared. Yeah. Are you going down there? I'm not. There's a light right there, dude. You go down there while I record. There's no way he's going down into the creepy basement crawl space after hearing eerie sounds, so his roommate volunteers to show him up. Like, the light right there is a It's strange. a chair standing there. It's around here somewhere. Look at the lights, can't Hold up. Oh, I can't reach. Can't reach. I, got, I think I gotta step on that chair. That's a chair right here. To me. No, don't he stand on that. He squints in the darkness, and that's when he finds the scariest thing of his life. Like what? What a. Oh, shit! One minute and 27 seconds is when I can barely make out a shadow figure straightening ah. up to greet him. He's Hello. screaming and the video ends before we get to see if he escapes from the crawl space. Before it reaches him, the man sees a ghost hiding in his basement according to the title of this video. The ghost is hiding from the humans. 
that say something? Theo, but I'm not so sure the supernatural is what he's caught on camera. Something scary is in his basement crawl space for sure. Yes. And think about it. Can't reach. I think I got to step on that chair. There's a chair right here. <laughs> Why would there be a chair positioned directly exactly under his crawl what I space said. entrance? It's a chair. Unless somebody has been using it to climb into their home. I don't think this is Ooh. a ghost haunting the basement. I think this is an insanely scary stranger encounter caught on video. That's more terrifying than a ghost. Anyway, that's my analysis. Yeah, what do you, you make can of be this right. strange sighting? Okay, the last one. Number one. What's that? Not every old creepy basement is dark and haunted, but some Not are. everyone. And this one certainly could be. Nope. Going down there gets scarier every time because paranormal activity is always on the rise. The creepy things down here always start with a ghost slamming the door. Of course. That's always uh, something. Who's there? Not me. At 41 seconds, he gets his reply in the form of a bizarre twisted figure caught on camera at 41 seconds, a physical manifestation of the ghost hey, in man. the basement which he so fears. It seems to be bound tight in a cloak, and I can just barely make out two white eyes. The ghostly yeah, presence maybe. is caught on video, but not in real life. And so our timid investigator keeps exploring the haunted place. Not for long, though. His mission will be abandoned shortly. He is about to flee. And something is to stop him from fleeing, I guess. Something. Why is the ball moving? He questions aloud what his eyes are seeing. As you a ball it? is caught moving by itself, or more accurately, like a ghost has pushed it. This could easily be done with the pull of a string, but that still mm. doesn't explain the ghost sighting a caught on A string in a earlier. ball, maybe not. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, subscribe to Chill's channel if you want more and see this video by yourself without me pausing and commentating about it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.